Managing weeds in our gardens and landscape is one of our biggest chores, something that we're always dealing with. And ideally it would be great if, you know, we can control them by hand, by hand removal, digging them up, um, or using mulches. Mulches help quite a bit and help reducing uh, a lot of the weeds in our landscape. However, um, many times we do need to reach for some herbicides. But the problem is when we go into the garden centers, there's a lot to choose from and it can get really confusing. So today I want to just kind of cover a few basics on and hopefully in, in hopes to help you choose the right herbicide when you're trying to control weeds in the garden. So when you go in, you'll see all kinds of products. Um, and oftentimes we see products with the same name. So for example, here we have three different Roundup products. Now initially Roundup was a product that contained just glyphosate, which is a very common herbicide and one that's been in the news a lot lately um, because of, of the questions and how safe it is. And, um, and now it's being removed from the market. Uh, glyphosate will be removed from the home lawn and garden uh, product line. But now you see all kinds of products that have Roundup labeled on them. So that has become a brand name, just like Ortho's Weed Be Gone and Ground Clear, and we have Preen um, and a number of other manufactured products that have these brand names, but there's multiple products within those brands, and so it gets really confusing. So you need to make sure that you read and follow the label directions carefully. In general, we have weed killers that are labeled for use in uh, lawns, so they're safe to use, use in lawns to control broadleaf weeds and sometimes control certain grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. We have products that are labeled for um, non-crop areas, you're just trying to control all the vegetation. Um, some of them are labeled as pre-emergence herbicides, which means they have to be applied prior to the seed, weed seeds germinating to, and to get good control, while others are post-emergent control. Um, and so there's lots of different variations in the different types of herbicides that are on the shelves. Um, so it's very important uh, to, even though these labels are very catchy and, and help kind of guide you into maybe the overall broad spectrum of the, what that product will do, it's important to read the labels very carefully. So let's take a look at a few of these. Um, just to start off, this is the typical Roundup. So this has the glyphosate in it. It's one that we've had for a little while. And like I said, the glyphosate active ingredient is, is being taken off the market. We liked glyphosate because it was systemic, meaning it's absorbed into the plant and translocated into all parts of the plant, even down to the roots, so you get complete kill. Um, it was uh, non-selective, so it would kill grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. And it was very, has very short-lived or not active in the soil at all. So those were all good, good properties that we really enjoyed. Well now, here's a, I believe this is what they are using now. This is, as you can see, it says weed and grass killer, just like this one says, weed and grass killer. But this one has three different chemicals in it now, instead of just glyphosate. So the triclopyr is one that will control mostly broadleaf weeds. And then we have the Fulazifop P. butyl, which is also often sold as Fusilade, uh, as a common name. That one is a grass killer. And then the Diquat is kind of a quick burn down for uh, mostly broadleaf weeds. So together, with those three together, we get similar control that we would have had with glyphosate. Not quite as effective and as efficient, but it still works. But see, we also have another Roundup product. So again, you can't go by Roundup anymore as, as you know, a name that you, can, that you can focus on in terms of one control. This one, is, uh, this one is labeled to kill weeds, but won't harm lawns. So this one is labeled for use on your turf grasses and uh, it will kill broadleaf weeds and certain grassy weeds like crabgrass. Now note, this one is also labeled for both cool season grasses and warm season grasses. So something else you have to pay attention to. So the point is you really need to look at and read and follow those, read the labels prior to, or do some research prior to purchasing the product, okay? So some of these broadleaf or some of these lawn weed killers are labeled for use on bro on warm season grasses like Bermuda grass, but it may, may not be labeled for use on cool season grasses like tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass, which we use quite frequently, especially in shadier areas. 
Um, here's a couple other examples of, again, products that are labeled for control of, of, of weeds. This one is called Sedge Ender, and it's labeled for control of yellow nut sedge, but not purple nut sedge. So yellow and purple nut sedge can both be problems in our landscapes. And it's also labeled for, for use on cool and warm season lawns. Where this one is called Sedge Hammer, this one has halosulfuran methyl in it. This one's labeled to control both purple and yellow nut sedge and is labeled for use on warm and cool season lawns. While some of the others may be only labeled for use on warm season or cool season, and again, may only control one or the other of the nut sedges. Um, another couple products we have here, these are garden dusts. And again, they have different chemicals in them. Um, basically do the same thing in terms of most of the pests that they control. But again, it really helps if you read and follow those label directions carefully. So before you purchase, read those labels, do your, do your research. Um, if you're trying to control specific weeds, make sure that you look on the label and that weed is listed on the label as a, a weed that will get be controlled with this particular product. Otherwise, you know, you might as well move on. So um, also make sure that you use the proper rates. Don't use less, don't, use, don't double it. Um, use only what they tell you to use because that will be the most effective. Um, most of our herbicides are more effective early on in the season um, when the weeds are young versus when they're larger and more mature, they're less effective. Um, you gotta be sure that for like some of our broadleaf weed killers, you don't wanna apply them when temperatures are above 85 degrees. So like today, we're gonna be up in the 90s, so this would not be a day to be applying your broadleaf types of herbicides. Um, you also don't wanna apply them to stressed turf grasses or stressed plants um, because that's not, it's gonna be less effective. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. When you go into the garden center, you're gonna see lots of brand names. Make sure you look at the labels a little bit more carefully. Select the one that's labeled for your specific weed that you're trying to control and your specific site that you want to apply it to. So for example, a vegetable garden versus a lawn versus a landscape bed, because they're not all labeled for the same thing. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.